Welcome back, everyone, to the Fire Rises mod parts of my important host, Mr. Uh, Joe Biden lover. And right now, we're watching Europe, we're watching the world, but we're at peace, and Joe Biden's not having a good time. He's kind of blank. It is what it is. Got some comments from last time, but we actually went with a Green New Deal to start off. We're going to be very progressive <clears throat> in the past few years. Climate based activism has grown to reach one of the forefronts of American politics, with calls to act on further reduction of emissions have only gone louder. As a result of an increasingly public focus towards the well-being of the planet, a number of progressive politicians has endorsed and put forward the Green New Deal, a program designed to massively cut back on and eventually shut down numerous emission-heavy industries, while providing financial cover to those who would be affected by the transition to a much more green economy. Though such a costly endeavor has been ruthlessly opposed by most Republicans, a notable absence of a majority of these resisting its considerations once again brought the proposal into the limelight. While some have criticized, criticized its implementation during wartime, the opportunity for real climate policy is too beneficial to pass up. Let's be the first step in America's contribution to climate sustainability. And it's a step we'll all take together. And what's next we're doing? Tackle the military industrial complex? As far back as President Eisenhower, we were worried about the dangers of an overreaching military industrial complex. And unfortunately, we didn't listen. Now that the MIC has gone far too large, and it's bigger than in itself. We can tackle and diminish it in the aftermath of the Civil War before it gets too out of hand. After all, we have no need for such a relationship anyway. Oh, look at that. A war is coming. This allows us to reallocate resources invested into building it up, preventing over-reliance on military solutions, avoids unnecessary defense programs, it promotes fiscal responsibility, mitigates corruption, and promotes innovation in non-military sectors. A large military-industrial complex promotes a worldwide intervention in armed complex, which contributed to our eventual collapse in the first place. This is no place. Oh, look at this. Um, in American society. And it will take great measures to prevent the MIC from growing as large as it was, even if we allowed it to exist. So, we'll see what happens, because we don't have a lot of congressional support after that. Because we do want you as much as possible. Um, because right now it's 61.6. .6. After this next one, we're going to lobby for, we're always going to lobby for progressives. Um, which should be good. But, uh, Joe Biden's health, also I did replay this a little bit. He's got 60 days until his health goes back down. So I did replay the Civil War again a little bit more. And, uh, just in case, we're going to make sure we entice some masses. We want very high trust. And we want overwhelming high trust. And Joe Biden, of course. So he's got more legitimacy, Green New Deal, more, more weekly stability, better consumer goods, which I do like, uh, which is great. So we got to do things that where we have enough congressional support. I don't mind doing this one, but this is going to really hurt consu oh, hurts consumer goods a little bit. It really hurts our support um, from progressives and conservatives, but you know what? That's fine. But this doesn't go on any further underneath here. And we didn't do the Great Second Society just because this would, be, this would be more radical for the Green New Deal. So we can't do a Strengthen American Institutions and eventually Save for Communities Act. This is what it is. Uh, criminal justice reform? That wouldn't be bad either. Economic justice? Requires all the following. Oh, we can't do this one. That sucks. So we went down the great Second Great Society. could go that way. But instead we can go ban radical parties. And national critical infrastructure. And economic or revolution. That's not bad. Medicare for all. Hmm. Provide humanitarian relief to struggling Americans. So we want to set ourselves up here to get enough support no matter what we do. Because we're going to lose support here and there. This would help us actually quite a bit. It hurts our liberal support. We get more influence, conservative influence. Which could help us out here a little bit. Or go here and get more support and influence too. I like more political power. As our troops parade through the city of Denver, ruined by reckless resistance of Trump's backstabbing snakes, we have come to the conclusion that the only way for America to truly be liberated is through radical reconstruction. We'll rebuild infrastructure, industrial plants, every city and every home affected by the conflict and with it, destroy everything that Trump utilized to build his populistic dictatorship. Every trade will be trialed, every hideout cleared, every cell destroyed, and there place a new generation of free and proud Americans who will not be susceptible to tyranny. Uh, military spell, that's fine. Uh, if I say no, we lose a lot of political power, and I don't want the liberals to lose too much influence. We're no longer in war economy. It's 59. That's still pretty high. I am worried about the present self. So that's not good. Oop, oop, oop. After radical reconstruction, we're not going to lose too much support anyways. A little bit of liberal support, but that's okay. Ban radical parties. Ever since the end of Trump's term, the cage of political extremism, oh, there goes Russia, has been left wide open, and they've been wrecking havoc on the United States. Organizations such as the National Socialist Movement in Michigan, the Picture Front in New England, and the Altenboffen Division in Florida come to mind. We must take immediate action to ensure that all radical organizations and parties will not have a place in our America, and that it won't happen here. There we go. 
Can I help support Ukraine? That sounds like a very Joe Biden thing we could do. Hey, Zelensky, how's it going? So, six divisions. Um, what do we have? Definitely don't want just an infantry. You guys are armored. Infantry, infantry. infantry. Well, honestly, I'd like to keep all my infantry together. I don't even know if there would be enough time for us to send these divisions over and make sure Ukraine doesn't like capitulate, but we'll see. Uh huh. Four things of planes. Well, do we even have any planes left? Nine. We're selected one, two. Well, you might as well just merge them together. But yeah, we have like literally no planes left. Got a couple attack helicopters, but honestly, we have no fighters. Yeah, Ukraine's gonna uh, not do well. Oh, they're already losing. Well, they're actually doing it better than I thought for now, yeah. I don't see any paratroopers. <laughs> After a radical reconstruction, then what? Bad and radical parties. Um, depends on how much loss we have. We could codify Roe v. Wade, which did give us more support, which you do like. Um, national is critical infrastructure. <clears throat> During wartime, it is in the interest of national security that key industries such as railways, electrical grids, banks, resource industries, internet, and other critical infrastructure be controlled by the state. At the same time, the control that the private sector has over these industries has been a corrupting force on the country, allowing billionaires to control aspects of the everyday life of the common man. The immense privatization of the American economy has damaged our nation beyond repair, and the time to reverse Reaganomics begins today. Let's see what y'all can do. I don't think we can help out the front very much. Holy crap, Gustav Perna, when did you get here? Holy smoking fathers. Well, in all honesty, I'd like to see if you guys could just help out here and get rid of these guys. I think that'd be great. I mean, you might as well. Because it helps out with one of the fronts and destroys enemies, so. There you go. Nice job. Transnistria, I think you should be okay taking these guys out too. And that'll free up like one or two divisions as well. Wow, you're taking a, can you just, I'll go here. Oh, you're getting attacked. I'm like, what's going on? Radical deconstruction. Or construction. Ban the radical parties. All right. United Kingdom of Great Britain, Northern Ireland. No, makes sense. Well, we're back at war. We wanted to shut down the military industrial complex, but you know, whatever. Uh, NATO intervenes, somehow. European war. Um, because Ukraine is definitely falling right now. But, you know, what you gonna do about, you know what, you hold in. There you go. Get over here. I'll support the attack. They're trying. Oh wait, NATO is moving in. Are they? Yeah, the German, the divisions are showing up. Launch, oh, launch counteroffensive. Well, I mean, uh oh. Uh, did you just nuke my guys? Huh, hopefully not. Yeah, that's not good. I mean, I'll get some more divisions across the border here to help out against in each every each and every individual country, but I don't feel like doing that. Chemical attack in Ukraine, unspeakable. Who could have seen that one coming? We're gonna have a pretty communist EU here sooner or later. That's gonna be adaptable. That's a very good one to have. Scrub the reports. United Democracy? Well, eh, not super concerning right now. What is concerning is that our debt's pretty high, and we still need to integrate a lot of these places here too. Got 12 days left, it's fine. Um, that doesn't really matter. Integrate as much as you can. Sleepy Joe. There you go. At least you got a towel back. So 
Well, there goes Lithuania. And we want to continue lobbying for progressives. Can't win without enough airs priority, so. So we ban radical parties. Oh, provide humanitarian relief. That's not bad. I want to wait to do that one later once we don't have enough uh, uh, support for other bills and whatnot. Minimal barbaric weapons, eh? Spend, spend. <clears throat> Both that economic revolution would be great. Oh, there's no thing here. Okay. Abolish the electoral college. We need more than 66% support. That's insane. There goes Estonia. There goes Latvia. All the Baltic countries are dead now. We definitely don't want to be cut off. Because right now the Russians are what? Oligarchic uh, democracy under Medvedev. Liberal conservatism, huh? We'll see what happens to the EU in the end. Making a little more armor is always nice. Joe Biden health decrease, which I think I read last time, so. Battle tank's nice. Um, Gen 2. Oh, I never did Gen. Next. Well then. No, I'm not sure which one. Modern, advanced. Gas engines are usually pretty fine. It's Gen three, maybe about think, but it says four. That's just weird. Whatever. Well, we tried Ukraine. The Russian force is just too strong. Not like real life, but, you know, whatever. Yeah, humanita humanitarian missions. Russian storm plus 20% attack is really freaking hard. And you don't have enough uh, air superiority against them. So, I feel for them, but it is what it is. Uh, we'll do our best with Joe Biden here. Good old sleepy Joe. He's very tired. We're still trying to build more cities and whatnot too. I mean, that helps us with money barely. It's really bad right now. 
Social spending is really bad. Uh -huh. Debt payments are really god awful as well. Let's see, an economic revolution? No, I think that'd be great. Let's go down the rabbit hole. Well, we'll try to help out the Germans. Good luck, guys. We literally don't have any fighters. Because we're out of aluminum, we have no rubber. Which is kind of a big issue. It takes forever to build anything either, so. Because the construction speed so bad. Um, why is the construction speed so bad? It's negative 40%. American reconstruction, so. This public trust is high. Oh, we can nationalize rail industries. Huh. So it does higher education. How much support do we have? Oh, that's pretty bad, 42%. Service has a lot of influence. Build low income housing, huh? Oh, that's really bad around Warsaw. It's like we've seen this before or something. After this one, though. Medicare for all, we need more support, need more support. Comprehensive Voter Rights Act. A new, exposed, as exposed in the aftermath of the 2020 election, it became clear that a new bill reform in the voting system and ensuring the rights of all Americans to vote must be passed. The Comprehensive Voting Rights Act consists of strengthening of legal safeguards to protect the citizens' right to vote, including laws preventing voter suppression, voter fraud, corporate meddling, and restrictive voting laws. This is also essential to ensure equal access, diminishing restrictive voter ID laws. This also addresses gerrymandering, modernizes voting systems such as enhancing cybersecurity, as well as protecting voters from intimidation by third parties. Or other parties, really. Could you win here? That's why we wait to get extra support. No, you cannot. Good to know. Because you are getting attacked right now. Conservatives. Less influence. Uh, yeah. yeah, that helped out a little bit at least. Hey, we got another research slot, which is great too. Ooh, more speed, yeah. Building, building, building. Better. Berlin. Berlin's not a frontline city. It's getting close, but not quite. Huh. So after that, Medicare for all, we could really blow things up here. Codify Road v. Wade. Battle of Budapest. Battle of Prague. Um, we could use this. So we could do that and then do criminal justice reform. Oh, I could do I get a lot here. Uh, let's see. When the destruction of the prison system came across the U.S., we now have the opportunity to address the systematic issues within a criminal justice system and bring out comprehensive reforms. Mass incarceration is one of the most prolific issues within our prisons, and despite it being diminished by prison breaks across the U.S. due to mass insurgency, we're quickly finding ourselves refilling the prison chambers across the U.S. One central goal of criminal uh, justice reform should be to reduce the disproportionately... Uh, oh, God. Russia won. Look at that. Proportionally high rates of incarceration, mostly for nonviolent offenses, but it should also promote rehabilitation. Hold uh, uh, police officers accountable and invest in mental health programs and building trust in the system. In a functioning democracy, there's no need for prisons akin to Soviet ran gulags and Medicare for all. With the end of the Civil War that engulfed our nation for nearly decades, a paramount that we began funding Medicare to heal and patch up the wounds afflicted in our nation, both literally and figuratively. A proposed Medicare policy called Medicare for All posits that Obamacare did not go far enough and that we should implement a universal single payer healthcare system. Not only will this make healthcare a fundamental right rather than a privilege, it will be a cost efficient method that reorganizes the fragmented and broken system by streamlining the bureaucracy and negotiating bulk rates for services and medications. Uh, the overall cost of Medicare will be reduced, saving valuable money for both our citizens and the government. This also gives citizens uh, more spending power, reducing the financial burden under people, but it just put on display now more than ever with the Civil War over. Yeah, that'd probably be a good idea. Anything else we got here? Don't want Joe to go. Uh, 
That helped the other states out. Good. Medicare for all. That's going to hurt our consumer goods, though. Um, and monthly inflation gets really bad. We're going to lose a lot of influence and support from progressives and liberals. And we get a welfare state. So. We'll see how badly this, this damages us. Chris Kramer just for provide humanitarian relief. The, or, instead of this one, because this abolished electoral college. Woo! A true multi party democracy. In every single election since 1988, the Republican Party has lost a popular vote. Yet, in 2000 and 2016, the outcome of the Electoral College determined that George W. Bush and Donald Trump, respectively, would become president. Both being some of the most controversial and being uh, called by many of some of the worst presidents in American history. This has proven that the Electoral College is ineffective at representing the will of the American people and thus be abolished so the American democracy is to prosper. When is because we have more than 66%. Hopefully we can keep that amount of support. We're 72%. Hopefully we can... Influence is 5%, which is actually pretty good. For what we want to do. So what happened here? So the Russians won. That's pretty normal. The uh, Republic of Malo Russia and Novo Russia. Russia. And let's take a look at the faction. So the CSTO is doing okay. North Atlantic Treaty Organization, NATO. Uh, they got hit pretty freaking hard, which is you know always expected, pretty much. Because the first war, even the second war is hard. It's really difficult to play as uh, a NATO country. Axis of resistance on there. Uh, Medvedev has done really well, but what nerfs does he have? Russian Space Age. A BRICS member. New anti-Soviet, anti-system opposition. Special spending. I do, oh, so we just did that one, so. Post more demobilization. European dependence on Russia. Economic instability. Government restructuring. European war. Union state, okay. Trains, it's fine. It's always good to have good trains. Armor free trains, I guess. Why not? Well, we passed it, so. 71%. That's actually pretty darn good, not gonna lie. That's actually very good. A true multi party democracy? Well, let's do this one first, because this will give us more time to get more support if we need it. And back in business, huh? Let's see what this one's like. Modify Congress of the Union with plus 0.25 more political power every day. Oh, nothing's here. Okay. Provide humanitarian relief. Uh, with the allegation of federal resources and funding, we should immediately begin humanitarian aid programs to those left in extreme poverty and famine by the Civil War. Urban fighting has destroyed nearly every city center on the front lines, with a huge American dis diaspora population around the world. Oh, well, there goes uh, NATO. Uh, a series of repeating humanitarian relief packages will be prepared, being sent out to those in areas particularly damaged first, as well as famine relief programs to keep our nation running. Not a single person will be left behind, and we'll share that. Well... We also tried, was it No Child Left Behind? That didn't go so well. Just saying. Ah. Paris County's alive and well. Catalan the Revolution. Very cool. Who is leading this commune? Uh, Viva la Commune, 1871, of course. Well, let's go back in business and maybe we can. Uh, yeah, we don't have enough support now. We're almost at enough support, but not quite. Do people still like Joe Biden? Where are we at? 64%? It's not bad. That's pretty good. We're back in business because it gives us more stuff here, too. Oh, yeah. We can embrace neutrality. Future reconstruction projects will take 175 days to complete. The giant awakes. We'll embrace neutrality. American diplomatic corps, restoring American diplomatic influence, safeguard the nation. It must be released January 1st, 2032. Liberate the Great North. British and Crimson. Secure the South. American Restoration Act. The Big Stick Policy. Huh. Okay. Fifty eight percent's not bad actually. With that in mind, 
options. We continue being radical. Uh, the public health insurance option, simply the public option, is a proposal that creates a government-run health insurance agency that will compete with the private health insurance companies. Despite being struck down in 2010 by Joel Lieberman, now is your best opportunity to get it passed, especially with the trying times America's facing for our uninsured citizens. Oh, well, you federalize, huh? Um, then we can put pressure on private health care insurance companies to lower the premium costs and create more rational profit gaps. Fourth Arab Israeli War. Well, that's probably not. Wow. The Old Republic of Spain. Um, Beersheba. I can see three guys. Didn't go so great last time. Do we have any planes we can send? Run is which? Thunderbolt. Yeah, it's this one. Back in business. I'm not sure the giant awakes. Take more time to complete. American diplomatic corps. Those in need. Secure the South. The big stake policy. Organs of America. The forgotten farmlands. Build the military tomorrow. I don't know. What would a progressive Joe Biden do? Embrace neutrality? I want to say the giant awakes is what we shouldn't do. Just because we, we're doing all this other social stuff. We can embrace neutrality. And this sounds more militaristic. How about we embrace neutrality for this campaign? It might be the wrong thing to do. I don't know. If we go conservative Joe Biden someday, maybe we'll go with the giant awakes, maybe liberal Joe Biden. Because we did cut down... Uh, tackle the military industrial complex. So, I'm gonna go with this route. Uh, it could be the wrong route, I don't know, but I'm gonna try it. 62% support. Uh oh, Joe Biden will die. As one of the comments did say last time, I mean, it, it, you're pretty much guaranteed to have him die, which kind of sucks, but you know, it is what it is. It's, it's mod. Oh, Joe. Or it could have been. Oh, we're here. Well. Hopefully this goes better than last time. So it's kind of modifiers. We got a lot of entrenchment, quite a bit of organization. Joe Biden's gone. Uh oh. Today, the 46th President of the United States of America, Joseph O. Robinette Biden Jr., has passed away. To many, it was considered inevitable. Yet, it does not make the outcome less difficult to grasp. Oh, God. Uh, despite countless months of the present persevering through the massive weight of America's future on his shoulders, his toughness and persistence in the face of tyranny was not enough to remedy his ailing health. If you could ever imagine the stress that the President carried with him as a result of this devastating conflict, the stress that many believe was ultimately the death, leading cause of his gradual health decline and eventual death. A state of mourning has occurred across the Union as the news has eventually been gun to reach external sources. Our flags fly at half mass as most as condolences have begun to arrive from foreign nations. As necessary for when a president passes away while in office, Vice President Kamala Harris was near immediately sworn as Biden's successor, formally becoming the forty seventh president of the US. 
Well, this would originally, or ordinarily, be regarded as a monumental occasion for the fact that she's now the nation's first ever African American and Asian woman to hold the office of the presidency. Both herself and everyone else can agree that this progress did not come about as they had hoped it would. Regardless, the responsibility of leading the country to victory is now falling upon the President Harris, who managed to convince will last long enough to see the war's end due to her vastly younger age and generally better health. A sad day for democracy. So, we got cackling Kamala here. It is what it is. Uh, well, hopefully we get more political power at least this way. Poor Joe. Didn't deserve to go out that way. Just, just give him his ice cream, man. Well, I mean, this is over. Uh, so, do we even need to do this? I guess we choose this one to get more daily political power. I don't think... We, wait, United Kingdom of Great Britain, Northern Ireland, clearly one of the last for European Britain. Wait, hold on. Oh. Oh, this is different. Charles III, ultra-conservatives. They have Russian military advisors. Huh. The Brexit debacle. NHS Tom Bomb. All for Farage. This is Reform UK versus Neoliberals Alliance for European Britain. I have a feeling they'll lose. Um, that's a cool flag, though. And I guess the European Union with Germany and, uh, well, I think it was Belgium, has been formed. The Great Re Reset. Oh. Economic downturn. Deutsche Marine revitalization. Euro rail. National resistance. Bundeswehr. It's not very good. Christine Lambert, huh? Neolibs. Silesia. Where are you? Visigod. Ah, Visigod Mundur. Okay, interesting. Serbia's nice and thick. Massive immigration problem. In between two spheres, leaders of the Balkans. Huh. Well, we got rid of those guys for you guys. Let's go fight uh, some people up here, I guess, too, huh? Until Egypt starts knocking. Oh, well, they can't bust through our armor. They can't really do very much, can they? Which is nice. More freight trains. Let's do more industry stuff and more efficiency. Not good. Inflation's bad. Oh. Oh, Scotland's trying it. We're free. Lobby for progressives. Oh, and there goes Egypt. Egypt doesn't like these guys very much. Doesn't help that Israel doesn't have its planes, which kind of sucks for them, you know. They don't have enough planes, like how NATO didn't have enough. Uh, Planes too to bend. It's the whole air superiority thing, you know. To bend here. There you go. Mississippi's good. So that's good. American Restoration Act. This right construction project take 175 days to complete. You get more cities faster. That's good. Join awakes, and we got stuff we can do up here too. Get more support. If we really wanted to um, introduce public option. I want that faster city production first. Good to know. Rubber. What is this? Oh, I'm afraid trains. It's fine. We don't really need them.
Yeah, I'm slowly losing the bottom here. Ah, yeah, I figured that would happen. Spider wing. Well, you know what? Wasn't we'll to attack Kelly's. Why not? He's up out at least a little bit. He might get scrambled, unfortunately, but it is a cost we're willing to pay. Quite a bit slower than anything else, but whatever. Washington, that'd be good. Group of Jessica Hobbs. Uh, that's good too. What do you have? Hopefully, slowly increasing the numbers here, which is good. Nice. Hopefully, doing at least a little bit of damage here. We're doing our part, whatever it is. And can we lobby for progressives? Yes, because we have no support now. We'll slowly rebuild in the nation. Oil, cri oil crisis, maintain liberties. We got Green New Deal, American Reconstruction. Oh God! Well, I heard our organization and output as well. I wonder. Stakeholder economy, defenders of democracy, of course. Really help us out here, please. Down the rabbit hole. Oh. Well, after that, what else can we do? Those in need. Our days are zero. Uh, I think we have to wait for these, don't we? Very good. Well, not good for Israel, but whatever. All right, so that one done. When did this one? Authoritarian socialists will call it socialist alternative. Libertarian socialists will call Green Party. Social Democrats will call it Democratic Socialists of America. Social Libs will call it Democratic Party. Conservative Party now will be Patriotic, Patriotic People's Party. Boy, you got it rough, Israel. You got it really freaking rough. They're all now in the North at least. Med the dead doctrine, huh? And you are, well, it looks like you are slowly taking them out, too. Oh! Well, I guess the Arabs won. We tried our best. You know, that's the way you go out. Good job, Jews. That's how I would want to go out, too. Not gonna lie. Just nuke all your enemies in the end. Uh, let's see, basic light tank chassis, advanced light tank chassis. You need main armaments for this. Flamethrowers would be nice. Is that still super important to do? It makes it really cheap. It makes it a support company, though. Uh, Coldware. Let's see, level 3, I guess. One man is fine. It's a light tank. Some radios. Special auto loaders are fine. I like blow up compartments. Secondary shirts. It means a light tank. Desert blade, smoke launchers. Not super important for that stuff. More speed. What do we got here? So regardless, you get more. Hurts production cost by quite a bit, but you're hurting it anyway, so it must go up that way. Ninety nine percent's not good enough. There you go. Kind of generic, that's right. Uh, retention cap, cap growth. There you go. We still have enough to do stuff down here, too. Did it just reset? I guess it kind of did, huh? Stability, political power. Yeah. That's interesting. Uh, let's see, we introduce a public option, but here's a consumer goods. I don't like that. Criminal justice reforms to get more stability. Why not? Conservatives are still rebellious, but whatever. We don't really listen to them, do we? Joe Biden? Well, I mean. Good old Joe's not here anymore.
This has got high temperature superconductors though. That's pretty good. Hmm. I'd like to do that one next, but power plant, I guess. I mean, I don't know if we're really gonna make that or not, but it is what it is. As we lobby for progressives again, with criminal justice reform, it's great. Congressional reshuffle. After the recent electoral reform, a snap election was called in order to assess the rule, true will of the people under the new system. No longer shall dated partisan systems such as gerrymandering and first past the post voting hide the true will of the American people and allow the billionaires on Wall Street to control our elections. With the new electoral systems in place, most notably ranked choice voting, publicly funded elections, a dissolution of the two party system through various legal mechanisms, and multiple rounds of voting, the Democratic Socialists of America have emerged as a clear winner. And formed a majority coalition government alongside the Greens and Socialist Alternative with the Democrats, Libertarians, and newly formed Patriotic People's Party in opposition. Unfortunately, due to the unstable situation of the nation, a majority of the country was unable to vote due to the areas being held by guerrillas and insurrectionists that seek to destroy our democracy. In addition, many states under military administration have not been formally reintroduced into the Union after their secession, making it so much of the Midwest was unrepresented. Nevertheless, the success of democracy in the territories that have been more than the Union of America have been a great testament to our new system, and proved that our democracy emerged from the Civil War stronger than it was before. Congratulations to the DSA. So instead of Kamal Ayers, we've got Bernie Sanders, so he won the Civil War eventually. Um, that being said, the game is crashing really, really hard now, um, because there's an update, and unfortunately, uh, well, I, we can't continue on with this. So, I apologize, but this is pretty much where the campaign is going to end. We got the Green New Deal. We are doing American Reconstruction. Um, that's kind of cool. That, I guess, Kamala's here. The people, back in business. Um, we're going with the American Restoration Act. There's the hearts of industry. Uh, those in need. I would like to do to safeguard the nation, but we're not there. With Captain America. And then there's Liberate the Great North. Okay. Of course, like I said, arts of industry, those in need. Rebuild the Great American Navy. Get a lot of naval dockyards. I think it's like three of them or something, four of them. The Big Stick. Ask to join NATO and whatnot. Organs of America. Build the military of tomorrow. Um, and the Forgotten Farmlands. That should be pretty cool. Um, other than that, that's pretty much it for this uh, campaign. So... Yeah, definitely was enough to hear. Pass a pro act. We didn't get all the stuff. Minority businesses, but you can't do everything in every campaign, which kind of sucks. But it is what it is, you know. Um, yeah, overall it was a pretty fun campaign. I like how we just we changed to the American Federal Republic, and Europe is slowly trying to federalize with the European Treaty Organization, um, and then they will try to take on the CSTO. I'm like I said, I'm sorry that we can't continue on with this campaign, but it's it's pretty much where we left it off. So. Um, Oh, we can restore Detroit. Oh, that's kind of cool. Military factories. And that oh, office park, restore Chicago. Oh, huh. of course, that's still the president's house. But you know what? Oh, there's a popular front down there, too. I actually went in Spain. People's Republic of Spain. Oh, Marxist Leninists. Because they had a little civil war up here. Uh, oh, well, they're a BRICS observer. Well, that's kind of wild. So, unfortunately, that, that's going to be the end of Joe Biden's run for us right now. So, um,. If you enjoyed the campaign, please consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow in another campaign. Thanks for watching, and have a great Democratic Socialist rest of your day.